not get anymore. We're different in ways that I don't even know how to tell her. Because I don't know how she will react to it. Josh was the mole I've been looking for. I want him found, and I want him silenced. Get it done. We'll figure something out. But how? With my help. Party girl? Whoa, you're still alive? Was there any doubt? Come on, look at what just happened here tonight. This shows exactly why I need to be party girl and why you need to continue to teach me to fight. I know you see it. It's been weeks now. How much longer are you going to hold this grudge? I mean, kids lie. It happens. They lie, they see the consequences, and they learn from it. It should be a learning experience, not something that widens the gap between our daughter and you. She lied to us, Edward. She lied to our faces. She lied to me. She stole from us. Oh, come on, Evelyn. You gave her full access to the card, for God's sakes. I know damn well if my parents did that to me, I certainly would have bought some extras. And there you go again, making excuses for them. That just gives them carte blanche to just run all over me because they know daddy's gonna be okay with it. I'm not making them. excuses. I'm trying to say that a heavy hand isn't necessary. We are their parents. You know, as long as they're growing up in this house, we do not have to be their best friends. Well, you were Rachel's best friend when she was in gymnastics and when she got back into it. I mean, Evelyn, when are you gonna let go of this and move on with your life? Just let it go. You know what? Until you came along, Edward, that was my life. That was my life. And I shouldn't have to change my life for you or for anybody else. Mom? Dad? Rachel, honey, your mother and I were having a little discussion. Do I look stupid, Dad? Michelle was right. Great. Great job, Edward. Rachel, I'm talking to you, young lady. I just needed some air. It's getting a little too hot in there. I guess you heard all of that in there. Did you actually think I wouldn't? Uh, you, Mom and I were uh, going through a bit of a tough spot right now. Right, like you said, when you're together for so long, you argue, blah, blah. That's over stupid stuff like leaving the toilet seat up or control over the TV or spending money at the casino. It doesn't dig deep into the relationships between parents and the kids, which in turn affects the parents. Michelle said that you were different, that you were barely hanging on. Is that true, Dad? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. The last few months have been difficult, Rachel. Uh, more so in the last few years. And your mother, she's been going through a few things. But, but look, when I signed up for this whole marriage thing, I, I signed up for all of that, okay? And, and it's, it's, it's okay, all right? Marriage, it's a lot of hard work. But when somebody wants something, as much as they should to be married, they do everything they can, everything in their power to keep it. 
And I know, I know your mother feels the same way. It's not the impression I get from her. Oh, Rach, you just need to, need to look beyond your mother's anger. Mom's anger? Connie's anger? I'm just pissing everyone off. Language, young lady. I just wanted to do my own thing. And I finally figured it out, but everyone's mad. How am I supposed to live my life if I'm worried about alienating the people I care about with every decision that I might make? That's stupid. Because, Rachel, that's one of the hardest parts of life. I, I know that, but something tells me you're going to get through it, right? No worries. What makes you so sure? Because I know the daughter I raised. One of you and Mom. Don't worry about it. After tonight, be water under the bridge. Okay? You shouldn't do it. I have to. Why? Because of who I work for. She needs results or else. The party girl didn't do nothing to you. I thought you were on my side. You're acting no better than the JRs, Annabelle's, and the Tasha's in the world, Benton. Party girl goes to our school. In fact, she's one of them. You said it yourself, she was at the party. She is no hero, no saint you paint her to be. She was just someone who took advantage of something that happened. That's what they do. They take advantage of people of ill-gotten opportunity. It ends. I'm just asking you to leave it alone. Once I stormed that graduation. Wait, graduation? You're gonna tag the graduation? You can't! My brother- No more talk. No more playing around. Mom? Are you and Dad going to be okay? Why wouldn't we? Are you and I going to be good? That remains to be seen. I said I was sorry. What else do you want from me? You know what? It doesn't matter. It does matter. Dad said you have to work at the things we're saving, and our relationship is at the top of the list in my book. Well, that's good to know. Um. So. And this is what I wanted to be like? Is that you, Ben? It is. What are you doing here? I just thought I should see you before all this got started. Shouldn't you be at work? Yeah, Omnicore. They, they put me out. They, they blacklisted me. It's been difficult. Why the hell are you aren't? Why, why aren't you in school? You haven't been in school. You haven't been anywhere. I was working with someone. Someone I thought was going to help me, but since I figured out, wasn't worth it. Well, what are you going to do now? Finish what I started. With the Tormentors and with Party Girl. I just thought you should know. I thought they were going to be the second Incredibles because like the little ground guy. That's not the right cap, Todd.
I can't tell you how good it is to have you come back and give the keynote address, Marilyn. No, that's nothing, Coach. I love coming back to my old stomping grounds. And besides, the kids need somebody who's from here who's gone off to college and come back to do their civic duty and make this community a better place for all. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to be done with the school and away from all the weirdos. I know what you mean. The sooner I don't have to be in the same building as Greg Hicks or Benton Aldridge, the better. I hate to disappoint you, JR. Oh wait, I don't. Benton? Today is round two, JR, on so many levels. Hector, are you there? Benson! Open up! Benson! I don't have time for you, Rachel. Connie, just give me five minutes. I said I don't have time. Benton is here and attacking the seniors. What? He's got my brother in there. <sighs> Bookworm. Benton! Party girl? Yeah, Connie, uh, hi. Yeah, that's me, party girl. Certainly someone you don't know and have never talked to before. Yeah, right. What's going on? Where's Bookworm? Benton, he's in there. He's after JR and the others again. And you. Yeah, well, this has been a long time coming. I'm gonna smash Bookworm's face in. Maybe you should try talking to him instead of just trying to attack him too. You don't know how crazy this guy is. I know much more about him than you do. Whatever. I know another way in. Just, just let us go, you crazy jerk. JR, JR, JR. You'd think that at this point you'd realize name calling just isn't going to help the situation. Listen, son, if, there's no need for all of this. I mean, if, if you truly have problems. I have problems indeed, Mr. Mayor. But this is going to help them. Now we need everyone to look at the flash and think subjugated thoughts. Heard you were in need of me kicking your butt again. Party girl. Not going to happen this time. Looks like you have a little bit more confidence this time too. Same could be said about you. New costume. Yeah. Better to beat you down with. Mind control thing again? Yes, but improved so much. I no longer have to flash them and give them suggestions. I flash them, attach this marvelous device I've invented, and their minds are connected to mine. What I think they do. From these stupid little human tricks I love so much to taking you out. <laughs> Looks like we both improved. You have to stop this. I know people did you wrong, but responding like this is not the way. Hey kid, how about you stop talking and get out of the way? How about you shut up and butt up you're not gonna help? I am helping, I- Enough of that. Now, where was I? You were gonna let these people go. No, I don't think I was going to do that. Benton, please. You're not friends with this lunatic, are you? He's not a lunatic. He's just someone that has been put in an awkward position by other people. Oh yeah? What would you know? Get her! Come on! Are you trying to get her? No, I'm just trying to help him. What is your deal? What is yours? Do you know his history? How many years he has to deal with people picking on him? He's left at home with his father, losing his mother? And that makes it okay? That makes everything he did okay? No, but it does mean he needs people to reach out to him, not to just judge and condemn him. If you're not gonna help me, you can leave me alone. 
so much for coming clean about my secret. <gasps> I have waited so long for this. Ben, here we are again, JR. Except this time I'm going to make sure you remember. Make sure you know exactly what is going on right now. You're sick, Benton. You, you need help. I have never felt better. This is going to be bad for you, but... Benton! Connie, for the last time, you can't talk me out of this. I'm taking you down, Chris. This is it for you, party girl. And they're next, all of them. No one else needs to get hurt. Don't make me hurt you too. Just how good of a friend was that guy to you? He was a good one. Like a best friend? Could have been. God knows I lost my other one. Lost? You know, you remind me a lot like her. I do? Yeah. I mean, she didn't give a damn about anyone else getting picked on either. She just made excuses for it happening. Like, she couldn't do something about it. And I don't need those kinds of people in my life. That's not how it was for me, or I'm sure your best friend. Well, I know much more about her than you do. And that's just how it is. But I don't need her or people like you. Connie. Mm -hmm. 